What are we digging for? Gold. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is Moose. We got some viewer mail about Moose. There's a couple people that think he is handsome boy. Moose is Charlie Pup's brother, by the way, from a different litter. Say mom and dad. Are you the handsome boy? Some of the other dogs wants to throw a ball. So there's a heat wave going on in the northeast right now. It was like over, a, it was almost 100 degrees here up in the northwestern Connecticut. Down in New York City it was like 104 degrees. And we have to make dessert for tonight and there's no way we're going to turn the oven on in our house. So I was inspired by Gary from cooking-outdoors.com who was on Garden Pork Radio a while ago. Uh, and we're going to make banana bread in a Dutch oven outside with charcoal. You could also use this uh, if you had a outdoor fire, if you're camping or something, it's the same kind of concept. We're going to use charcoal briquettes, but I just want to show you a simple banana bread recipe cooked outside so you don't have to heat up your house. Very cool, the Dutch oven. All right. Who needs a water park? All right, first thing in making some outdoor cooking is you have to have fuel and we're going to use charcoal and a charcoal starter, okay? I like the charcoal starter because it doesn't use lighter fluid, sorry. Lightly crinkle paper. Goes under there. And set that in a safe place. Okay, I got smoke in my eyes now. All right, so we're gonna go make up our batter for our banana bread, put it in our Dutch oven. I'll show you how to do this, okay? Okay, I had a little bit of a collapse with our chimney starter there, because it's a little older, but Gary told me from uh, Gary from cooking-outdoors.com you want the top charcoal kind of half white half black that's when your coals are ready I'm always guilty of having them be too hot maybe too burnt along and they burn out quicker real quick loaf pan my Dutch oven is too small for a regular loaf pan so I got some smaller pans here and this is going to sit inside here. Ah. But the first thing we want to do, we don't want this pan touching the bottom of this. Some Dutch ovens come with a little uh, kind of like a tray, wire, wire tray thing. We don't have one, so I'm going to use a little bit of aluminum foil just to rise it up a little bit, raise it up a little. What happens if it sits on the bottom? It burns the bottom of the cake. Okay. So I'm just going to make a little ring here. And that'll go under here, and that'll sit like that. A oh. couple of things here. We want to have coals underneath the Dutch oven and on the lid of the Dutch oven. And a lot of Dutch ovens have a ridge here just for that purpose to put coals on it. That's really hot. Um, <laughs> and a lot of Dutch ovens have little legs yeah. so you can put coals in the bottom. We don't have any of that. Sometimes Dutch ovens come with a little wire trivet thing. So you could put coals under it. We don't have that either. You have about 10 Dutch ovens. Yeah, I threw out the wire thing. We're going to take more aluminum foil uh -huh. and make little risers, little basically balls of aluminum foil. So basically this will sit like that. This thing is going to kind of fall apart on me. So wow, that's hot. <laughs> These coals are really hot. You should probably have some gloves on when you do this. Now what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to go get a glove because this is really hot. Prepared. Prepared. And all the pictures uh, I see online, people have their gloves on, so. There's a reason. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Okay, coals on the bottom. You want them all touching so they cook nicely. I've pre-mixed a banana bread recipe, but you want to mix it at the last minute. 
because it has baking soda and salt. Pretty exciting. It's really very warm, so be careful. Well, it is an oven. Now we're going to put coals on the top, and the way to do this, if you have a Dutch oven that doesn't have that neat little ring around it, is to make a ring out of aluminum foil. They are not messing with the charcoal. Are you an angel? No. You got hardly. No. <laughs> And then we take coals. You can also use, uh, if you have some chain, you could make a chain link circle basically, kind of like a chain link necklace if you're gonna be doing this on a regular basis. Or you could go buy, you know, like two or three feet of chain with a link connector. You mean and put it around the outside? Right, so you'd have, instead of me having to make this uh, aluminum foil ring every time, it's if you're gonna halo. if you're gonna do this a lot, you could make a, a circle of chain link and sit it on there every time. Do you need the whole thing covered? Because it's not quite all covered. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, actually, Gary gave me a specific number of coal, charcoal briquettes to put on the top and the bottom, and I forgot what he said. So, uh, 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 stay, stay. It's okay, go. Is it time? Yeah, I think so. Uh, the 40 minute, we're at our 40 minute mark. You could smell, it smelled like, it smells like, you know, banana bread. Uh, usually with your Dutch oven comes kind of a metal hook thing that you can lift this with. And I can't find ours. So I'm just gonna try and grab it with the grabbers. Hot. Burn. Wow! Whoa, look at that! It is ready! That it, looks great! It does! Big camper, you. Let me get the knife just to test it. <laughs> He's excited. Perfect. Perfect. Ta-da! Ta-da! All right, we're going to have dinner at the camp tonight, and so we will sample this up at the camp. Can't wait. That's great. That is so cool. It smells like banana bread? Yeah. Looks like banana bread? It is banana bread. Nice, huh? So we're at the camp. Very nicely done. Sample. Quiet, everyone. Shh. Is it done? Pretty, pretty good. It Yay! Just, it <laughs> make just a little bit more. But Does the top is really done. It's really nicely done. Oh, the bottom no, needs to cook. Wrong. The bun needs to cook a little bit more, and I'm taking a little, tasting a little bit of baking soda. But other than that, it's fine. That's the stirrer. Yummy. All right, see you later.